What's going on guys and welcome back to the pitcher home run derby. Jacob DeGrom went first. I did that video a few weeks ago actually. It's been a while since I uploaded this series. He went first. He finished with a time of 6 minutes and 8 seconds. So how this series works is I don't really, I don't show you guys the timer as I go. I just time the whole thing and however long it takes to hit a home run at Fenway Park with the pitcher is the champion. At the end we'll have a finals with the top two guys. Kershaw is up next. Let me know down below who you guys want to see next. I'm thinking it's going to be Bumgarner. And if we can get this video to 500 likes, the Bumgarner challenge will come uh, come out. But unless unless you guys has any other ideas, let, let me know in the comments. And yeah, let's see how Kershaw does. The clock starts as soon as he comes set. There we go. Okay. So pretty good. Did this competition. Oh my gosh. First pitch, Kershaw almost went yard. It's a complete speed competition. Like you got to be fast. It can't take you a long time. Or else you have no chance of winning. Six minutes was a pretty good time set by DeGrom. But I... Oh my god. Did I just beat it? Did we just... No, that was close though. That was really close. I've, I have got a hold of that one pretty good. My favorite... I'm guessing Bumgarner is going to win this whole thing. But I think Kershaw is going to give him some competition. Because Kershaw's hitting stats are, are not terrible. He's got some decent contact. And, and, and I'm, you guys know Bartolo is going to get his shot too. I'm definitely going to be giving Bartolo Colon a chance in this challenge. He's going to be a... He's going to get his chance to hit it over the green wall because you know he can. And we're going to find out who the best pitcher home run hitter is. That's it pretty well, but I think that's a little bit short, is it? Yeah, that's foul. My one with DeGrom was actually hilarious because it just looped around the thing. And initially, to me, it did not look like a home run. Like, it looked it looked like I didn't get it. But after, upon further review, oh, that's hit well. Get going. Get going. No, nice catch by the right fielder. Okay, he's close, though. Like, I know... I know he can do it, but I'm pretty sure his power stats are 14. So hitting a home run with a guy with 14 in power is not the easiest thing in the world. But if anyone can do it, it's probably the greatest pick pitcher of our time, Clayton Kershaw. That one's down the line. There's a base hit at least. That's not too bad. My next challenge that I'm thinking about doing, you'll probably see it shortly after this, is I'm going to take the slowest pitcher in the game, John Lester, and we're going to hit him inside the park home run with him because everyone tells me Lester is the slowest guy in the game. Oh, that's hit nicely. That jumped off the bat. I'll be able to tell by the way he's running. Yes, let's go, Kershaw. No way, a time of 1 minute and 50 seconds. Clayton Kershaw hits a home run. Wow. I am genuinely, genuinely impressed by that. I thought it would take him a lot longer than that, and that really sets the bar for everybody else. Everybody else has to match that now. And I know you guys are going to say come, I'm on an easy mode, but it's the same for everyone, so it makes it fair. I didn't don't want these to be four and a half hour videos, but that was pretty exciting. A minute and 48 seconds in, so who's going to be the guy to challenge him? Is it going to be Bumgardner? I don't know. That is completely up to you. Drop a like on this video and comment down below who you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you for 40,000 subscribers. I hit that a few days ago, and I just I appreciate it so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.